Hello, my name is Elaine Rosenberg and I'm a course developer at Neo4j. I just wanted to introduce you to three new training courses that we have just published on our Graph Academy site. We have Introduction to Neo4j 4.0, Graph Data Modeling for Neo4j, and Basic Neo4j 4.0 Administration. So I just want to give you a preview of these courses. So Introduction to Neo4j 4.0 um, is a course where you learn the basics of Neo4j as a developer and in particular you learn how to use the Cypher query language. This course will take you about two days to complete if you perform all of the hands-on exercises. As you can see, this course has quite a few lessons. It has 20 lessons. Um, in order to do the hands-on exercises for this course, you must do one of these three things. You must uh, install Neo4j Desktop, which is free to use or you must create a Neo4j sandbox. And a Neo4j sandbox is a temporary instance in the cloud that is free to use and is available to you for anywhere from three to 10 days. Or you could create a Neo4j Aura instance, which is a subscription to a Neo4j um, instance in the cloud. So the, the lessons of the course are around getting to know Neo4j and a lot of lessons about Cypher. How to use Cypher, how to use indexes, query best practices, and we also have a number of lessons on importing data um, and the different ways that you can import data into a Neo4j database. So um, to, to, to go through the, the le you should go through the lessons and if you get stuck or have any questions, we have this discussion area on our um, community site f if you have any particular issues or questions around the training. And that's true for any course that you take online. So when you take a course, uh, you typically go through the, the content of the course and at the end of the lesson there is a set of three check your understanding questions. And so um, we like to make sure that you have understood the content of the lesson so you would answer the questions um, at the end of the lesson check off the answers and if for some reason um, you answer a question incorrectly you do you select check answers and it'll tell you which one that you answered incorrectly at which point you would adjust your answers and then Um, then you would do check answers again and then if you answered them all correctly you would get this message and then you continue to the next lesson. Okay, So as you complete each lesson, if you've answered the quiz correctly, you're going to get, see this check mark for the lesson. And then you go through um, the lessons of the course. Um, the first lesson where you actually have hands-on exercises that you perform um, are with the first exercise here. And this exercise uses what's called a browser guide. And this browser guide you access through Neo4j browser. And so Neo4j browser is accessible either through desktop through a sandbox or through your Neo4j or instance. So that's basically how you go through the course. And when you get to the end 
of the course, after you've completed all these lessons and they all have check marks, meaning that you answered all the questions correctly, um, then you go to the summary page, the summary lesson, which is just a review of what you've done. And if you've answered all the questions correctly, then you get a certificate of completion for this course. So that's the logistics of how you go through. On the left here is are the lessons of the course, and on the right are, is the table of contents for this particular lesson. So that's the basic that those are the basic steps for going through one of our lesson one of our courses. So let's go to another course. Let's go to the data modeling course. This course is intended for developers, um, admins, um, architects, anybody who might be participating in the um, modeling exercise for your application. So this course does not have any uh, requirement for you to, to uh, set up your environment, although it does require that you use the arrow tool for um, developing your models. So here are the lessons for the course. Um, introduction to graph data modeling, designing the initial model. So in designing the initial model, you will use the arrow tool. And in this lesson, there is a um, it has an exercise that uses the model, the arrows tool. And um, also in the course, we provide you the solution. So you would just copy and paste this into your arrow tool um, markup. And this is basically what the arrow tool looks like um, in your UI. So this, this lesson, um, has a quiz just like all the other lessons and and you would answer it and then at some point you would um, get to the end of the course where you would um, get your certificate for this course. And then the final course that we have that's new is um, basic administration. And this course is intended for anybody who might be administering a Neo4j instance for a set of developers or even for production. Although this course is just the basics of administering a Neo4j instance. Um, this course is, it does have hands-on exercises, but the key to, to doing the exercises for this course is that you must have Docker installed on your system um, because we use Docker instance to, to give you an environment where you can manage the Neo4j instance. And the lessons of this course are um, just some overview lessons about Neo4j, Neo4j admin, and then managing the instance. And what inst instead of using Neo4j browser, in this course we use ne Cypher Shell. And there are some Cypher statements that you use to manage the instance. So for creating databases, um, starting and stopping databases, things like that. Uh, we teach you how to copy the database, how to change the location, database consistency, um, some exercises in scripting, um, and then uh, how to configure plugins, um, HTTP, HTTP ports, and how to do backups. And we also have a section here on importing data. And this is um, using the Neo4j admin um, import tool to uh, create a database from a set of CSV files. And again, as with our other courses, you have a link here to the community site if you have any questions um, while you're taking the course, since this is a self-paced course. 
So that's a brief overview of what we have for our three new courses on Graph Academy. We hope you um, get something out of these courses and they help you to learn more about Neo4j.